Okay, we are going to remove rollers now. There's rollers all along here. We're gonna leave the outside rollers and same thing under here, we wanna leave the outside rollers. So here is how we go about removing rollers. Take a pick like so. Get up under there and pull them out. See how they popped up like that? I'm going to grab a pair of these and pull the rollers out like so. You wanna bring everything out. So we're talking spring and rollers. And we're gonna do that to all of them. Sometimes they kind of go over places you don't want them to go, so you don't want to lose them. So I just grab them, pull them out. Sometimes you gotta get in there a little bit. Once it's up, you can usually grab with your fingers, pull it out, and pull the spring. You need to remove these rollers so they don't put tracks on your printouts. I like to leave the outside rollers because, oops, I just got lost one there. I like to leave the outside rollers just because I don't print that far out and it makes it easier trying to get out so you don't have to make sure you have an extra four inches behind it or two and a half or whatever it is of film so you're not wasting any sorry about all that noise we just had eight puppies last night and boy they are loud but gosh darn they are cute cute absolutely love them we had eight golden retriever puppies they're all healthy and doing great with mama she's so good We're getting there. Having this pick helps. And then, like I said, you pull them up and just pull it out. Whole thing comes out. We got one more left up here because I'm, like I said, I'm gonna leave the two outside ones on each side. Oh, I got, I'm sorry, three more to pull on the first row, and then the second row, we got all those.